in edit mesh modifier so let's go and just make a regular old standard primitive a box and I make a box and there we have it all right now we are not and I repeat we are not going to convert this into an editable mesh we're going to use a modifier called edit mesh to give us the same type of uh, performance as convert into an edible mesh but there's a huge difference when it is a primitive we still can change the length the size of things so uh, I can come over in my parameters here okay I, I just I pick on my, my object I can come in here at any time when it's a primitive object and change sizes right and so I can come in here and make those changes well once I convert to edible mesh I cannot so in, in this case I'm gonna keep this box I'm gonna go up to the, to the modifier list I'm gonna go down and choose my edit mesh alright edit mesh and now the edit mesh now allows me to come in here and pick on various sub objects so I could come in here and make some changes okay so I just come in here and make some modifications to whatever my object is here right just so they're visual here and now I can come back into my oh, sorry here let's do this I'm gonna come back up here and there there's my object right I can pick on it I can go back to my box and I can say are you sure you want to continue and I say yes and then I'm going to come in here and make a change. I'm going to say, oh, the width is only 20. Aha! I couldn't do that if it was an edible mesh. All right. So the big difference when I use the edit mesh modifier instead of converting into an edible mesh is that I can retain the object's creation parameters and then use them to edit the object even after we had that edit mesh modifier placed onto it so it gives us a little bit more ability than just editing a mesh or convert into an edible mesh and editing the edible mesh at that point so the edit mesh modifiers gives us the benefits of an edible mesh and allows us to change the size of our primitives